few weeks out from the season now, and I know it's a, a team that you're excited about with a lot of new faces. Uh, I am excited about this team. You know, we're excited every year, but this team has something about them, Kev. It's, there's just something about this group of kids and group of young men. Um, they're, they're competitive. I just told another media, describe your team. I said, hashtag competitive. I mean, we've, we've gotten after it. These kids really love to compete. We're deep, and, and so our practices have been a lot. I mean, it's, it's, they're a handful, and uh, guys got to come and compete every day. We got returners. They're really good players. They're fighting for playing time, and uh, that's the way it should be. Uh, Bobby Bowden said, recruit the best and let them compete it out. And so we're, we're, we're I, this is a good group. It's a big South that uh, probably fairly wide open a lot of years, I think, but maybe especially this year, just the expectations for your team. I know probably not concerned about that right now, but just the expectations. You know, I just want to get better every day. Uh, this, this is going to take care of itself. And um, our expectations for this team outside of our team will be m middle of the pack. Uh, but I know this group probably won't accept that and want to be a part of that. Um, and so I, 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 we're, our goal, and I mean this sincerely, our goal is to get better every day and, and to fight every day uh, like it's game seven of an NBA Finals uh, to get better. And this group has responded to that as well as any group that I've had at Charleston Southern. Armel Potter uh, certainly lived up to what you thought he'd be as a freshman. Uh, I think you guys feel like he's taken some steps forward since that time. Uh, how has he improved going into his sophomore year? Armel's just flat gotten better. Uh, he, he's seeing the floor better. Uh, he can still score. Um, his two areas that he's improved significantly, I mean, and I, I emphasize significantly, is on the defensive end, number one. Uh, he's learning how to sit down in a defensive stance and compete. And he couldn't do that last year at all. Uh, and then his leadership has been uh, terrific. Uh, he has become a vocal leader. He's become a demanding leader. And neat thing about Armel is he's highly respected by his teammates because of his, because of his work ethic uh, that um, you know, he's able to lead our team as a sophomore or help lead our team as a sophomore. Defensively, as a team, I think you did some good things in Canada, and I think maybe uh, you guys feel like your personnel there is going to help you defensively. Just talk about that a little bit. We've made a transition over a two-year period to try to get taller and longer, and because we felt like defensively had, we, we've struggled because of our size, and uh, where you have a dynamic player, or players like Sa and Arlon and Jeremy Sexton and all the guys, Kelvin Martin that have come, uh, uh, their size hasn't been a factor on the offensive end, but has been on the defensive end. So we've made an effort to get much taller and much longer through a, a focused recruiting effort. And uh, uh, we've done that. And so we've, we're spending a lot of time defensively. We feel like we've made a lot of strides. Uh, two of our three games in, in Toronto, we were terrific defensively, which we think can transition into uh, Big South play. Um, and so we're just we're, we, we want to have an attitude on the defensive end. We want to have an aggression on the defensive end. We want to guard you well, uh, and 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 we feel like that's going to require some depth, and we feel like we have that depth.